So, you want to be the greatest swordsman ever. Or maybe you just stumbled across this video looking for anime workouts. Either way, I'm glad you're here. This is the Zoro workout. In this workout, we're going to be covering eight main exercises. And that is going to be primarily his training pre-time skip. Um, just most of what is shown in the anime uh, is going to be included in this workout. So like I said, eight main exercises. It's going to be a full body routine. He covers a little bit of everything, although most of his training is sword specific. So I try to lay out most of the exercises in functional terms because it's no fun to follow a workout program that's um, has a bunch of stuff that you don't have to work out with. So I try to mimic most of that with your everyday gym equipment. Um, they're all, there are a little bit of alternative movements in here to, for if you don't have these sort of things, um, or if the exercise may be easier in a different way, I recommend you do that instead. The first exercise we're going to be starting out with is his jumping squats. Um, now, you can do these with dumbbells, you can do these with a barbell, you can do these with an easy bar curl, um, like I'm doing here, which wasn't the most comfortable way to do it. You could also do it with a hex bar, if you have one of those for deadlifting. Um, that's probably the method that I prefer to do it, just because it feels the best. Um, it's a little awkward with your hands kind of up by your ears, but when you have your hands down holding onto something, it's a little bit easier to stay grounded. Just some things I noted while I was doing it. Another thing too, as I was researching for this workout was he likes to do a lot of like weird, unconventional type style of training, which is, it's sort of fun in an old school kind of way. Um, but I just thought that was how he chooses to do like his leg presses and his push presses and the way he does the barbell jumping around thing which is you don't you kind of don't see that a lot the other thing i was surprised about was to see a lot of leg movements too in this sort of training style he's got going on here which just goes to show you how important um the base is from the ground up you know you'd think just swinging swords would be a lot of upper body but you know a lot of you, your your lower half is what keeps you grounded is able to your hips are able to turn you're able to swing that's what's able to allow you to do these sort of movements so up next we're going to be going with the goblet squats kind of perch yourself up and then just take a dumbbell hold it by the top half you can do this with a kettlebell as well just get that nice deep stretch. Just kind of a fun way to train the legs in your conventional barbell squats. And this is actually quite the workout, you guys. I was doing more than breaking a sweat just recording this. I try to balance it out, too, a little bit. Another thing I noticed with Zoro, too, is... He tends to use one hand a lot, especially on his curls. Like you'll see him barbell curling with one hand, so I had to make sure to throw that in there. Which honestly, I can't think of a better mass builder. I take it in his case, it's probably so that he can have and swing each individual sword just as powerfully as the other one. So. In theory, it makes sense, so you could do these either way. But I will say they are quite difficult, and you can see me struggle in there with 50 pounds. The fourth exercise is going to be a snatch grip overhead press. And this is almost a full body exercise in itself, where you have to have the mobility to stay squatted while you're keeping your torso upright and pressing the bar above your head. Uh, it's very interesting and quite challenging. 
Like I said before, that's boring. Why do OHP with two hands standing up when you could do it squatted? Twice the fun. The fifth exercise is going to be your single dumbbell curl that we see him doing a lot, um, especially in the anime. This is your classic anime training trope. Gotta have the dumbbell bicep curls. The next exercise on this list is going to be how Zoro trains his sword play. And for this, it was quite different because I found this kind of barbell and it has concrete inside of it and I was able to kind of rig this five pound weight to kind of get the same effect of what we see him doing in the anime um the two the i feel like the two arm swing that we see him doing is a lot easier with something like this like a like a standard size barbell whereas the single um kind of sword thrust that we see him doing is much easier with say a sledgehammer because it's a lot shorter and it's easier to maneuver and it's also easier to stop when you're not hitting anything. Which is really a testament to how strong um, Oda makes him appear. That he's able to continuously swing a heavy one-sided barbell you know, with lots of plates on it over and over and over. Not just swinging it down, but the force to stop it and bring it back up. Because it's easier to put force into something when you know that it's all going towards the ground or, say, a tire. The force is being absorbed. This next exercise is... Interpretation of when he's training with the stones over the tree. Um, it's, I'm unsure if he's doing a kind of like a cable cross or if he's doing some sort of like lap pull down. So I figured these banded press outs, either single or double, would work to create the same effect. And last but not least, the final piece of the puzzle is the cardio we see him performing. Um, usually it's jogging, or it seems like he's either jogging or sprinting with another person on his back. So to create the same effect, you can use a weighted vest for sprints or jog long distance jogging, or um, I imagine that sled pulls behind you would also create the same effect, although you can't really go for a jog with a tire behind you, but you can do sprints with a tire or a sled. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and sort of this non-nonsense take on Zoro anime training, because a lot of it nowadays can be a little ridiculous and a lot of it's far-fetched and it's not realistic so just try to take it make it fun you know make working out getting out moving your body exercising you know make it something worthwhile so if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like let me know if you like it in the comments i'll see you guys in the next one